Hi guys, welcome to Cree Chats. I am Cree, and today's episode of Cree Chats, we're going to get into the pros and cons of being a cosmetologist. So, for those of you who do not know, I am in cosmetology school. I have a couple of months left. Hallelujah to that. Okay. Um, I always hear stylists, makeup artists. People who do all kinds of stuff, people who do microblading for your brows or whatever, they always talk about clients and their experiences with clients and the crazy stuff that clients say, try to pull, whatever. I have a lot of stuff that, you know, I've experienced being in school on the floor and just taking my own clients before I started going to school. So I decided to do a video about the pros and cons of being a stylist, a cosmetologist, makeup artist, nail tech, whatever you want to call it, dealing with clients in the beauty industry. So, um, yeah, I have a list. Of pros and cons because girl, if I didn't have a list, this video would be an hour long, to be honest with you. So um, we're just going to get into the pros and the cons, okay? So let's do the pros first. We always like to start on something happy, something cute. Um, the pros are that you can do your own hair, which is a pro for every female anywhere, or to be honest, guys too. Like the ability to be able to wake up and style your hair, like go out to the club, style yourself, do your own makeup is like a gift you know what i'm saying so to be able to do your own hair do your own makeup and style yourself and keep yourself looking good is definitely a pro of being a cosmetologist another one is that you make your own schedule you make your own money if i decide i don't want to work for the next month then i won't work for the next month if i decide i want to have 10 clients on tuesday i can have 10 clients on tuesday that's just how it works you make your own schedule you are your own boss you pay yourself you know what i'm saying no money going missing you ain't got to count no hours and no text coming out of your shit you know what i'm saying it's a pro that you make your own money, you control it. Um, another pro of being a cosmetologist is that people are always going to need their hair done. There's always going to be a wedding girl, a funeral, a birthday, a dinner, you know what I'm saying, a photo shoot, like a first day of school, whatever. People are always going to need their hair done, they're always going to need their makeup done, and people are always going to pay for that. So you're going to be in a field that's high in demand. The same reason people be doctors, because you're always going to need a doctor. You're always going to need a teacher. You're always going to need somebody to do your hair. Um, the people that you meet, the connections you make, the celebrities you come across, like you will meet so many people in the hair industry and the beauty industry all together. So I think that is a really good pro as well. So those are the pros, let's get into the cons. I'm not trying to make this video long either, by the way, y'all. So let's get into the cons, girl. The cons probably gonna be the most of the video. The cons, okay. The discrepancies with your policy, your prices, what you doing, what you won't do, Clients need to relax their nerves and calm down, okay? If you got somebody that's doing hair at their house, do not come to nobody's house with your hair dirty, your hair a mess. I'm not washing your hair in my kitchen sink. It's not happening. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's policy says, come with your hair clean and blow dry, come with your hair clean and blow dry, girl, because you do not want to have to get turned around and charge for 50% of your service because that's exactly what's going to happen. If people have a policy that says, don't bring kids, do not bring kids. If people have a policy that says, don't bring your man, don't bring your friends, do not bring people. If I'm doing something at my house in the privacy of my home, I might not want 50 people coming through. Now, I don't mind people bringing their children because I know people can't find babysitters and stuff. I'm not a kid hater. So I don't care if you bring your kids. But if I tell you to not bring your son nose ass boyfriend, do not bring your son nose ass boyfriend to my house, okay? You don't need your man at my house. You don't need, you know, you don't need a sitter for your man. Your man can stay at home. Some of y'all do need a sitter, a sitter for y'all men, but that's besides the point. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't find a babysitter, I don't mind. I don't care. But, girl, don't bring your mama and your friends and your cousins so they can watch and be like, ooh, girl, how it look? It looks like you're about to get up out my house and ain't about to get service and still get charged. That's what it looks like. Girl. And, girl, if I'm making a wig for you, don't bring me no ratty, ratty, funky bundles because I'm not doing it. And I'm still going to take your money. You're getting charged. Believe that. Believe me, you. You're getting charged, girl. But don't bring me grandma's bundles and think that it's about to be... It, it ain't about to look like this. That's one thing for sure. Like, don't think you're about to see how my hair look and think you're about to bring me some bundles that you got off the side of the road from a watermelon truck and think it's about to look like this because that's not about to happen. Like, you going to pay for what you get. Like, if you want to pay for quality, girl, pay for the quality. You know what I'm saying? Clients are really, really messy too. I don't know. I'm sure this is the same with anybody who does hair, makeup, anything, girl, nails. People will sit down in your chair and be like, oh, girl, I love how you did this because the last person that I went to, insert name here, they did a hot ass mess and my edges was pulled all the way out, girl, and my nails was crooked and they said it was my finger, girl, and all of this kind of stuff. 
Girl, I do not care about your stylist. I don't care because all you're going to do is go back to them and be like, oh, girl, I let somebody do my hair because you was busy. You was booked up, girl. You know, I don't book with nobody else but you, girl. And I let them do my hair, girl. And they was just talking about you down, girl. Like, I don't care about your stylist, your old person. I don't care about nobody that's doing your hair. I care that I'm doing your hair right now, girl. So whoever was doing it, if you wanted to talk about them or to them, you should have been in their chair, not mine. I don't care about that. I don't want to talk about that, girl. That ain't got nothing to do with me, girl. The girl bye whatever another thing i hate about doing hair is that your friends will want discounts girl i don't know what a discount is baby it ain't happening your friends will want discounts their friends will want discounts people want discounts for their birthday their anniversary their i don't care what uh occasion you got you got going on baby my price is the same to be honest special occasion price is a little bit more girl that ain't no discount that's a little upcharge hello my girl, these people be wanting discounts for everything. And girl, God forbid, you let somebody service you one and a half times and they don't give you a discount. Ooh, girl. Girl, you going straight to Yelp with that one, girl. People act like because they come to you often that you're supposed to get them a discount. Girl, is your service discounted? Is the quality discounted? I do not think so, girl. So go ahead and break me off whatever I need, girl. The, girl. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Cree Chats. It was a really small one, a really cute one, a really short one. I didn't want to get into too, too, too much, step on too many toes. I feel like I step on enough toes every week, don't you think? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about the pros and the cons of being a cosmetologist and doing hair and doing makeup and dealing with clients and all of that other good stuff. And I will see you next week. I will see you next week.